out some water if you want me to fill up your camelbacks. Figure I'd save you a trip over to H&S. Mm. Hey, guys, hand me that LSA up there, will you? Thank you very much. That makes up for killing the kid. Fuck those things he can buy his way out of shooting those kids by getting us a drink of water. <laughs> See? <laughs> Been through a lot these past few days. I know there's a lot of strong feelings. I want you to think of me as a kind of commander who's not only tough and aggressive, but who also cares. <laughs> this guy doesn't strike me as aggressive at all. I'd like to know what you're thinking. I don't think so, sir. <laughs> Doc, this is your chance to get a little something off your chest. <laughs> sir, it's just that you're incompetent, sir. I'm doing the best I can. Sir, it's not good enough. And now I feel kind of sorry for this guy. <laughs> it seemed like he even knows he's incompetent. But if he really is, how did he get this job? It's about the enemy AKs you've been firing from your vehicle. You're endangering us. You're not calling your targets. The AKs sound like enemy fire. Jesus Christ, Eric. <laughs> you fire an AK one more time, I'll fuck you up. Jesus. Every commander's getting it today. <laughs> Every time an order is questioned. Every time dissension is allowed to state its case. There's a corresponding decrease in overall morale. Maybe think about why that is. Because your officers suck, mostly. Some people aren't happy about the pell-mell assault on that airfield. And I admit it was rash. Even reckless. But General Mattis had to have our eyes on that airfield. No, he didn't. It was a British target. They knew about that. Sir, any expectation of resupply? Zero. <laughs> but that's honest. When I gave the order to abandon that supply truck, our battalion colors were on it. The loss of those colors is one of the most regrettable incidents of my entire career. Mm -hmm. Never mind civilian casualties, maybe even the death of his own man. Nope, the loss of the colors. What the fuck is Captain America doing out there? Digging a hole. <laughs> maybe I'm digging his grave? Oh, he's burying his trophies. Impressive. I guess there's still hope for him. <laughs> It's not completely lost yet. We have 140 possible armor on the move. 15 clicks due east of our position. Grids to follow. Over. Assassin 2, this is Twiston, Godfather Fact. Standing by to copy grid, over. How sure are you that that's the enemy? And not just, again, some random civilians? 24 hours ahead of the next nearest Marine, and now the Iraqi army has found us. I, like the I couldn't tell what that is exactly. <laughs> it doesn't surprise me actually. Why didn't they know that there's a town around? That's one hell of an airstrike you had the LT calling. It's not on me. 11,000 pounds of bombs. That's some serious shock and all. But at least they didn't bomb the town itself. <laughs> My big American friends are going to fuck you up if you don't show us some blown up tanks. And the Haji's all. Hamish's all. Dude, these Iraqis love the fact that we're here. They fucking love freedom and they thought that those fireballs last night were fucking wicked. <laughs> it's a perfect impression of the translator. <laughs> what the old man say? I'm afraid we're going to bomb his village tonight. LT turned it down. Anybody hungry? Are you allowed to eat a random goat? What about their eating standards? Don't you have to follow protocols and only eat what the military gives you? We will not rest until the Iraqi threat to your way of worship has been completely neutralized. I'm aware of the warning order. <laughs> and it's for that reason that we are congregating right now for a brief oh, the service. Other thing, <clears throat> the other thing is, is that my team leader here? He was born a Hebrew and remains a practicing Christ killer. <laughs> <laughs> when push comes to shove, even Rolling Stone picks up a gun, but this fucking shill of God. <laughs> he can't cover his sector. Are you sure the reporter would pick up a gun? 
I think it's much more likely he would grab his camera. Your wife is half white. You talk like you're black. Most of your friends are fucking white. And every once in a while, when you feel like it, you throw in with the Indian. Yeah, but what the fuck? Is it just your whatever race happens to be cool at the moment? <laughs> it's just about feeling superior, having the moral high ground. That's all. If you're angry at your command, then you're saying that it was our fault that the supply truck was burned. But we didn't burn the supply truck. The enemy burned the supply truck. They took your food from you. You left it for the enemy, you fucking moron. It was the <sighs> enemy who stole your food from you, and you should be really, really mad at them. Really, really mad at them, not me. <laughs> so much for being aggressive. I'm in awe. <laughs> We're gonna hit this town hard. It comes down from General Mattis himself. The army wants to lose a supply unit, then cut and run, while a captured female soldier becomes a poster girl on Al Jazeera. That's their business. But Marines will not go down that path. This competition between different military units. It's always amazing to see. All those guys should be on one side. Instead it always comes down to who's the most badass group. Who has the biggest dick. Can I help you, sir? Colonel, I've been sent here to apprise you of some late breaking developments. This man is the mission. We have good reason to believe that Ali Hassan al-Majid, AKA Chemical Ali, is holed up in our shop. <laughs> I remember that nickname. Oh wait, was it Chemical Ali? Or was it Comical Ali? All Hitman 2 victors, counter battery reports point of origin in this village. Our mission is to detain them all. Is there a kid tied to a pole? Uh. Hey, Audi! 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 Sit down! Audi! Sit down! Audi. Sit down. Chill! Audi. Chill! Audi. Guys, what about the pole kid? Don't tell me you didn't see that. And don't tell me I made that up. <laughs> Ray, get out of the vehicle! Tell me, get the fuck down! Couldn't he scout behind the truck? Hey, Sergeant! I think I see where the fire's coming from. Oh. What the fuck is that crazy piece of shit? Seriously, that's so stupid. Got him, coach. Now that little psycho probably feels awesome. Deep down. I kind of want to see what it feels like to get shot. That makes more sense. Hey. Not bad for an asshole. What the fuck? Don't congratulate him. Tell him how to do it better. That's two Tootsie Rolls. At least we get some now this bullshit mission. Yo, John, back off. It's a fucking charm dump. <laughs> What's the deal with these charms? Is it because there's that Lucky Charms brand? Assassin 2-3, this is Assassin Actual. Interrogative? What do you see? Your position over. <laughs> the party in progress. That's what he's seeing. <laughs> Seems to be a big sale going on here. Everything 100% off. Captain America thought about shooting that guy. <laughs> and I guess had he met him last episode, he would have shot him. Fire warnings. Hmm. He will probably not turn around. Light it the fuck up! Got him, coach. <laughs> Do they understand the warning shots? <laughs> Probably not. We got trucks with weapons like this there. That one guy is still wearing a motorbike helmet. Do they really have no spare helmet anywhere lying around? Like you would have a spare tire in your trunk. <laughs> Uh, 
<clears throat> always the kids. They always hit the kids. Ask him why he didn't stop at our warning shots. Ask him why he kept coming. Man, these Iraqis can really handle grief, huh? Alpha. Well, you know the drill. Warning shots. <laughs> 